and welcome to simple object motion with physics no friction and keeping the player in the center um, so what we want to do here is we want to have a situation where you know the whole there's a big world and there's like say we have a, in this case a spaceship flying through space and that spaceship flies around um, but what we want to do is we want to keep the player in the center. So let's take a look at what we have so far. And this is from previous uh, tutorial called Simple Object Motion with Physics and No Friction. And I've actually added also an enemy uh, to this. Um, so here's my player. And I can rotate my player. I can accelerate in that direction and rotate, accelerate. So it kind of has you know, semi-realistic physics there. So if I go this way really fast and I turn around, it decelerates. And I don't have any border checking, but you get the idea. Okay, so then I have my enemy on the screen, and I don't have any collisions, but you can see how I move, but the enemy stays the same. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to change that so that the player is always in the middle, and then that would so I can accelerate, but what moves then is the enemy. Okay, so how we're going to do that uh, is Basically, if you, if you think about it, if the player goes up, then from the other perspective would be the enemy goes down. So we're kind of using like kind of relativity almost. Um, so what I want to do is for my enemy moving, I'm going to have the enemy, I'm going to set the enemy's X core. So set X to the current X coordinate and don't forget the parentheses here, minus dx, okay? dx is the change in x of the player. So what that means is if the player was going this way to the right, that's positive, then that means that the enemy would be moving this way toward the player, okay? And then we just do the same thing for the y coordinate. Okay, so instead of set x, we're gonna set y y coordinate and dy. Actually, that's a little bit of a mistake there. The dy has to come from the player. So we're going to use player.dx and player.dy. Okay. Because if we look at our player, the player's got dx, the player's got dy. So that's what our accelerate function takes care of here. Okay. So, so in this case, so what we want is we don't want the player to move anymore. The player's going to stay in the center. But the enemy's going to move. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. Okay, so I'm going to rotate. Now I'm going to rotate, I'm going to accelerate up. So basically, this ship is moving because we're in space. It looks like this, you know, the enemy is moving towards it. Now I've passed it. And then I can rotate and accelerate back. Okay, I can fly around. So again, it's the player that's moving, but because we want to keep the player always on camera in the center of the screen, we move everything relative to the player. And what this would let us do is if we want to get fancy, um, is I could go up here and I could go import uh, random. And then uh, when I create my enemy, I can have it go to random.randint uh, from negative, let's make it negative 500, see what happens to 500. And same thing, the x and y coordinates. Okay. And instead of making an enemy, let's make a bunch of enemies. So we'll wait, enemies. So we're gonna make a list. So for so for and we can just use an underscore because uh, we don't need to actually use it in range as an index. Let's say we want to make, let's make 25 of them. Okay, and then we're going to add enemies.append an enemy class. Because okay, so that makes, that's going to make us 25 enemy class instances in our enemies list. And then down here, for enemy in enemies, so this will move every single enemy. Opposite of our player. Okay, so maybe this will make it a little more clearer. So I'm going to accelerate to the left, which means all the enemies are going to move to the right. OK, 
Yeah, it's, the animation's not so good here, so let's uh, fix that. Um, to fix that, what we can do is we can use something called Tracer. So WN, that's our window object uh, from up here, WN. So I can do Tracer. And what that does is it actually turns off the animation. Okay, so if I ran the program now, you'd see nothing. And then inside the loop, WN.update. And this will update the screen for us. So this will give us a lot smoother animation. Okay, so if I go this way, so you can see now I, so now I can fly through the field. You can see how they're coming off the screen, right? And if I fly, oops, <laughs> if I fly down, so this is like I'm traveling through the universe and there's all these enemy fighters or blah, 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 whatever's going on, um, that sort of thing. So I can do some cool stuff with that is for my enemy, okay, what I can do then is I can say, do something simple. So before I, you know, you know this would be compensating for player movement. I can still actually move the player, the enemy. So self dot, let's say FD2. Now remember in Python and the turtle, everything starts out going to the right. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so they're moving. So I can accelerate. See, now we're going the same speed to the right. So two. Now I can go forward. I can go up. Because they're all moving kind of the same speed and direction. Oops, that was the wrong way. But we can make it maybe make it a little bit more interesting where they're moving forward and self dot let's see LT. Let's have them turn 15 degrees and see what happens. Move them in a small circle here. So they're moving, and then I can fly. So they're still moving around. Ooh. Okay, again, not the most realistic motion, but you get the idea. Yeah. And that's that. So basically, we are keeping our player in the center of the screen. And so if the player is supposed to move right, that means everything else moves left. If, everything, if the player is supposed to move up, that means everything else moves down. And that's what this does for us. So that is how we get a world where we're flying, but the camera is following us in the center of the screen. That is that.